Here's how we can simplify the fraction 4 25ths. Because what we want to do is we want to come up with another fraction that's equivalent or equal to 4 over 25, has the same value, but it's in lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a multiple, a common multiple that goes into 4 and 25 evenly. We want the greatest common multiple. Why don't we just list the multiples for 4 and then 25? 1 times 4, that equals 4. 2 times 2, that equals 4. That's about it. 25, 1 times 25, and then 5 times 5. I think that's all. So when we look at these, we have our numerator here and the multiples for our denominator. The only thing in common is 1. What that means is that 4 25ths, it's already been simplified to its lowest terms. We can't reduce this any further. If we divide 4 by 1 and 25 by 1, we still get 4 25ths. This is Dr. B simplifying the fraction, which is already simplified 4 25ths. Thanks for watching.